Wright State students are hitting the polls this week to vote on whether to fund a new rec center because the money for that project would have to come directly from the students. Two News reporter Ethan Fitzgerald has the latest on the voting that is happening right now. Well, the idea of adding new facilities is a little frustrating for some students because, well, the university has struggled with money. But there are just as many students that say adding more recreational space really could turn things around for Wright State. Currently, Wright State students pump iron in a 60,000 square foot room within the student union. Compare that to other universities like the University of Cincinnati, which has a 200,000 square feet area dedicated to rec space. Campus recreation has a really strong positive correlation as far as enrollment and academic achievement. Student body president Daniel Palmer won't be a Wright State student when the fees kick in. If approved, students wouldn't pay until 2021 or later. Any space that's in the student union that has recreation in it would be repurposed um, and renovated to student org spaces, student gathering spaces, um, really just maybe even a sports bar. Students would pay roughly $260 a semester. That equals nearly $2,000 over four plus years of schooling. Our student organizations really benefit from it. Have the space open to them for their projects instead of just our little closet hidey rooms we have right now. However, with voting underway, some students are, well, clueless of the vote. Haven't heard a thing about it. Honestly, I didn't even know that they were going to be building a new rec center. Wright State students have tried to pass this before, failing in the 90s and in 2014. A lot of people don't understand about this new campus is how much money it's going to bring in because we're going to have fields that we can rent out, basketball courts, we're going to have new events. Ethan Fitzgerald, 2 News, working for you.